Hi there guys and welcome to a new Fishing Planet video and I thought seeing as they'd introduced a new uh, monster uh, mission that I might have a go at that uh, but with a bit of a twist which I'll explain as we go along. So this is the Lesnibilia uh, Pike Fins mission where you have to catch five northern pike at Lesney which is not a fish you'd associate with uh, this pond. You can see on the right hand side uh, where the yellow marker is, that's where I'm fishing from, so just beyond the two lily pads or just beyond the reeds and the lily pads and actually uh, I was fishing in, you'll see in a minute, with a variety of different methods and you can see the lines uh, out that I uh, was fishing along for both spinning and uh, topwater lure and also uh, the positions I was using for float fishing and for bottom fishing. So yes my idea really was to try and catch the five pike in five different ways. So the first setup is the Jig Winner 270, uh, the Espira 3000, although that really could be anything. Uh, very, very light braid, and you'll see on the first fish I had the uh, clutch set too high. I just got away with it, um, but uh, I decided to use, um, use that. And the first method was the casting spoon, the uh, 7 gram on a 110. Uh, the red and white one as you can see. The second fish was caught with the walker, the 10 gram walker. I think it was that one, it could be that one or the other one, but uh, the slightly goldeny colour one seems to work quite well. And the third fish was caught with the phoenix 450 as you can see now this is my setup for emerald predator hunt and uh, old bucks um, in fact it's pretty much exactly it apart from the fact and I'll talk about this later the hook size uh, I spent a great deal of time trying to catch these fish on float and bottom and eventually realized that where I was going wrong was the hook size so you can see there the hook size is two uh, with a one aught it just won't, won't have it uh, and you can see I've got uh, small minnows there as the bait that could be shiners and the bottom setup is a Laker Pro uh, 370 an Inspirecast 3000 and you can see the rest of the, the setup there uh, and again the really important thing is this hook size um, size 2 hook and some small minnows again they, they could be shiners but small minnows did seem to work better uh, than any of them and then the fifth setup is back to the jig winner as a rod but um, using the popper and I really desperately wanted to use a frog popper here but unfortunately there isn't a frog popper of this size um, what I wanted to do was actually pull through the lily pads with the frog popper I thought that would be great fun but um, had to opt for the normal popper instead so here we go with the first fish and this is on the casting spoon, the red and white casting spoon on a one aught. And you can see here when I catch this fish I get very lucky, I just managed to drop the, uh, the clutch uh, setting in time. Uh, so that's fish number one, Th just over 3.3 kilos. Uh, that's with the casting spoon. Second is the walker, so this is the 10 gram walker on a one uh, and as you can see, and as I showed you in the picture earlier, this is the area I'm fishing from. All the fish were caught from this spot, uh, one side or other of the lily pads that are just in front. Um, I did catch quite a number of other northern uh, pike that were too big. Uh, but I didn't put those in the video, so there's a 4.456 uh, northern on the 10 gram walker on the one aught hook. So now we move on to the float setup, 
and you can see I just changed the leader there or the line uh, drop to um, 55 centimeters and as I said earlier the vital thing here is the hook 2 I tried for a very long time with the, um, the hook 1 one aught and got nowhere and decided to just drop it until I caught a fish and it was only when I got to 2 that I started to get pings and then I got lots of them um, as you can see I'm using the same spot where I caught the first fish which you just put a marker on uh, so my theory of using this ar around this lily pad area does seem to work which is quite nice because that's where they should be I would I would say so this is the float setup with the hook 2 and the small minnows there's a 0.378 kilogram young northern so that's the third one that you can see just got struck off the list and just slightly further out to the right uh, this is the bottom setup and uh, with all of these I've actually uh, left the video to run from the point where I cast to where I caught the fish uh, with the spinning ones obviously that's very quickly and with that float one that was fairly quick as well this one actually takes about a minute so I'm just going to chat a bit about general things um, here northern pike aren't really the sort of fish that you would come to Lesney to catch in the normal way normally you'd be fishing in the um, catch them all uh, competition or whatever and those markers uh, in front of us are where I fish to from a little bit further left over on the um, on the bank uh, for all sorts of small fish it doesn't actually re really matter the only other real sort of predatory fish I guess here is the is the perch and I did get a lot of those in uh, in trying to get these um, these northern pike young northern pike and just going back to the hook size as I say with both float fishing and bottom fishing uh, it's a little surprising perhaps that um, although not that surprising I guess if you are lure fishing you seem to be able to get away with a uh, a one aught uh, but if you're bottom fishing or float fishing you need to drop that hook size down to the two as you can see at the top of that screen so there's the uh, that's a 0 0.302 kilo on the bottom setup with a hook two and small minnows and this was the final one which made me most happy because I wanted to catch one pulling through these lily pads and you'd normally do that of course with a frog popper which wouldn't catch on the lily pads uh, but they're just too big so as you can see I just used a normal popper and pulled through um, and fairly quickly got one uh, just coming out of the uh, lily pads which for me was the, the nicest of the lot because uh, that's uh, how I like to catch um, pike and uh, other predators. So that's it guys, um, mission accomplished for the first part uh, and I gather now we've got the uh, pike fin spoon and are ready to catch the perch bully so that will be in my next video and I look forward to seeing you then and please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.